Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, uh, probably a long time. I don't really see me at talk like so. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys if you haven't watched my previous videos, please run go check out the past. This you know, I can watch this first, but I would rather if you watched it like in order. So, I went on a vacation to Orlando. And I did part one already. I did part two and this is going to be part three. Because I spent three days. I spent two full days. And three nights in Orlando. My ticket was for. I paid $45 for my plane ticket. Yes people. You know I said from this front. Them said cheapness. No alright people look at it. Look at it. If I can pay $45 to fly from where I am and go someplace else, $45? Of course, me I go buy the ticket to me, I go go, me I go live my best life. Of course. But so when I see the $45, my skin catch a fire. Yes. Mm -hmm. So my ticket was for $45. Um, I booked it and I think it was Expedia. The app Expedia because I was I look I look up my ticket prices on a kayak K A Y A K it's a kayak I think it's kayak I used to pronounce it kayak I didn't even realize that it's K K was at the end so I think it's pronounced pronounced kayak I don't know K A Y A K so I look up my plane tickets on that site. For some reason, it wasn't giving me the option to, to purchase it from the site. So I had to look it up on Expedia. So I look it up on Expedia. They let you choose the time you want to go and then the time when you want to come back. You put in the date and you, they, they let you scan through a list of the times. They give you options what time you want to leave. And then after you choose that, now you have to continue the process of choosing the time you want to return home. So with that being said, I booked my ticket. So now to book my hotel to make reservations for where I'm gonna stay. People told me I just feel good, I just feel positive. I just came back from my appointment. So I'm just thinking positive, staying positive, even though staffing kinda stressed me out. Yeah, Mr. Tax when the staffing stressed me out, good, good, right show. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting off track. Yes. So for my uh, for my hotel, I have Airbnb up on my phone and I have uh, Booking.com. Melissa told me about Booking.com, Airbnb, and Expedia. So thank you, Melissa. Big up yourself, Melissa. And she, if if it wasn't for she, girl, I wouldn't go get for up on no trip because she have to pick me up and drop me off. Because the lady that I asked to take me, she wasn't available. And I understand. It's okay. I love, still love you, Louisa. I still love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Yes. Louisa, my little, my heartbeat. It's like my mom. Like my second mom. Yes. So she is good to me. The reason that I know how to drive. The reason that I have a license. The reason that I have a car. The reason why I have that type of independence. Yes. Nice, nice woman. Love you, Louisa. Hope you're watching. Yes, and big up Mel. Mel always keep my car for me when I go on vacations, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. And she always tries. If I ask her like to pick me up and drop me off, she will try to do it to accommodate me in the schedule because these two ladies are busy. So, like, I have to ask questions. If they're not available, I just have to figure it out. You get where I'm coming from. So for that, I appreciate them. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Trust me. So let me get back on track. So I booked the flight. I figured out how I'm going to get to the airport. So I'm going to get back. Ve when you're planning a vacation, it's a process. And when I say a process, it is a process. Yes. So I booked the flight. I figured out my transportation to the airport and back already. Yes. The third thing is you have to book your hotel or, you, or your Airbnb. 
with this being said now i went on booking.com courtesy of mel because she is the person that put me onto booking.com i said all right let me use this app to see what is what the problem with airbnb is that i think they said you pay you pay to i think they be like you pay like after you pay like after you pay that's when you get the location i don't want to get any location for where i'm gonna stay after i give you my money before i don't like the location so i think it's safer to use a i think it's safer to use like a hotel for like for beginners because i want the location for the place i'm gonna stay if i'm gonna use airbnb yes yeah, sometimes airbnb can be really cheaper remember the hotel don't come with the stove it don't come with the fridge and them look something dear the hotel is just basically you like you just gotta buy food yes you know have no you know have no big fridge you know have no look on freezer and a bottom separate i just want like a little fridge sometimes it doesn't even come with a microwave which in that's a downfall for me sometimes you look a kickle wet in a little something not working yeah so with that being said you have to take everything into consideration so the airbnb wasn't gonna work for me because i want the location to where i'm gonna stay so I can so I can navigate the distance to and from the airport. I'm not gonna stay more than 20 minutes away from the airport. Remember, I have to come home on time. My girl gotta come home. My girl gotta make sure she get home on time and get to go back to work. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna miss my flight. No, I never work. Mm -mm. Me, me no want miss my flight. So with that being said, I booked. I booked my. Uh, my uh my uh why me why miss people me all over the place oh all over the place over okay. i booked my hotel on booking.com so i stayed at the wyndham orlando resort on the international drive international drive is like a big it's like a tourist uh, tourist attraction in orlando yes they said it's orange county yes so international drive is like a strip of hotel like a strip of hotels nice big luxury the place is beautiful if you watch the the first if you watch part one and part two day one and day two in orlando like from a channel that video those videos you will see like it's beautiful it is beautiful trust me it is breathtaking landscape like i don't know who really sat down i don't know who sat down and figured out and like came up with like listen we're gonna we're gonna plant some coconut trees some palm trees here we're gonna plant like five in a row we're gonna plant like 15 in a row it is beautiful the view is amazing if you've never been to orlando tickets are selling very affordable right now so you can go stay like a four day i did it a four day i did a four day vacation it's good trust me if you want to spend a like a complete three nights a complete a complete three nights and three days in total make sure you book your flight and you get there like from like 6 a.m to like 8 30 because it's not even i think it's like two hours two hour plane ride from where i'm located in pennsylvania to orlando so it's super super affordable like at sometimes you gotta treat yourself like you really really gotta treat yourself yes i'm people but i'm not a cancer patient and me not go through chemo see the ears see the something here my ear goes scratch up in a one i get this question a lot sometimes when i'm like they're like where's your hair this is my hair okay i just slit it back with gel mm -hmm. so i booked my i booked it i only paid 268 dollars for three nights three nights and i think it's two complete days at the windham windham orlando resort on international drive i hope i'm saying it the right way so with that being said i am going to insert a clip of uh, let me see I don't know where I'm going to put the clip, but the clip is already in iMovie. I just have to figure out how to crop the videos together and so forth. So, that's what I did. So, as I said, you just do your research. You just... Um, 
please book your book your ticket um before you book a ticket before you plan for a vacation a check when you when you decide the dates you want to go when you decide on the dates you want to go you double check with the person that is supposed to take you to and from the airport that's the best way of doing it Be, like don't buy your tickets and then go look right it never works so when you plan when you when you decide on the dates you want to leave and return then you communicate with the person you are you want to bring you to the airport and take you home so with that being said you have to do that first that's number one the second thing you gotta do is uh, the second thing you gotta do is you gotta book uh, after you decide that then you book your flight as i said before tickets are cheap right now because it's corona dash all over even though i think corona is like dying down now so make use of the make use of the cheap flights now like uh, go somewhere go somewhere now that you've always wanted to go as long as you're safe you can go ahead and take a trip yes it's 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 good trust me it's it's really good you won't regret it as long as you know that you're gonna be safe in that area and at all time you share your location with somebody that you trust that's back home so if you're going on the mall say listen like uh, like what i did my friends like uh, samantha called me every night video called me every night to make sure i'm safe thank you samantha i love you yes i love you and i miss you hopefully i get to see you soon if i travel to jamaica soon by the grace of god i'm coming out there soon so samantha checked on me tony and kelly checked on me they call they're like what are you doing today and i'm like okay i have a facial i got this to do i think i'm gonna do that and so forth melissa check on me also what you plan on doing today go somewhere and i'm like mm, some, sometimes i don't want to go anywhere but uh, i regret not going out the last day which you know, I can't regret it not really kind of because when i'm home i don't do anything all i do is a schedule if i have appointments to make i'm not a sickly person so if i have something to do i schedule my massage appointment i'm gonna do my fingers when i feel like yeah like once a month i go do my nails i do my eyebrows the same time i do my, my nails and so forth so and then when i'm home all i do is cook clean eat sleep and watch tv like my television is my best friend so that's all i do when i'm home so me not doing anything on the last day was kind of a bit was kind of uh, i felt extremely tired the last day i don't know why and the thing is i think i wasn't comfortable enough to do anything because of uh, because of the fact that when i toured when i like uh, whenever like i i ordered something and i had to go and pick it up I saw people walking around without their mask on and I am a certified nursing assistant I work in the hospital so just imagine seeing people walking around with no mask on in the pool and uh, like even people that I was asking for direction to go to go to my room they were talking to me with no mask on like three of them were literally in my face like this with no mask on so i'm like this is a no no so i'm glad i didn't bring a bad suit and i didn't take myself to the pool because it was like no people in orlando um some of them they don't wear any mask it's crazy and that's just not healthy i've seen people on ventilators i had to take care of people that can't breathe like no mm -mm. i'm sorry some people are on vents no it's it's like i've seen people that have died from it so no i've had to take care of people like no i'm not gonna be in no pool with nobody no mass and i go to work and when i was working like you see it daily at the job no it's not gonna happen i'm very sorry so as i said you book your flight you communicate with the person that's supposed to pick you up and take you to the airport to make sure it's uh, it's good for them if they can take you and so forth if you don't want to drive like me i am a scaredy cat they have a place that you can park your car at the airport i've never driven more than 20 minutes i think i've never driven anywhere like longer than 20 minutes like i can't do it so that's just me so 
with that being said like uh, this trip was uh, and this trip was a solo trip this was like my first solo vacation and i had to like uh, sit down and motivate myself like uh, trust me it's not something that happened overnight i went on a vacation and i went to visit someone and i because of the experience that i had on that trip i promised myself that uh, I am going to try. Carol, me so call you. Carol, me love you. Me so call you. Hopefully, you come with me. Me, yeah, you girl. Let me tell you, you you come with me. You girl. Me so Carol is calling me. Love you. So call you back. Me I finish the video and then go call her back and then go wrap up the next video. Never go do. And for for what I for from from that trip, I promise because of the experience that I had on that trip. I made a promise to myself and I said, you know what? I am going to I'm going to, to take a solo trip. My friends then encouraged me to do it. Kelly dong in my back. Kelly do Kelly Kelly dong in my back like me don't know Kelly <laughs> Kelly dong in my back like whoa Kelly says Shana go on by yourself go on by yourself Mr. now gonna remember myself me free Mel tell me say go on by yourself if me not avail if if nobody not available go on by yourself like if not nobody for go with go on by yourself and me I say I'm kind of afraid and it took a lot of uh, me have to motivate myself me have to hype up myself to actually do that trip here to actually plan this vacation that I went on and it was my first time in Florida first time in Orlando first time traveling to Florida first time in Orlando and uh, surprisingly i enjoyed myself which you know, i didn't do nothing to the extreme i'm i'm single i have no kids i set my own schedule for work so i had like a five day off in a row so i was like you know what i'm gonna plan this trip and what I did the day before I went on vacation, I made sure I clean. I clean. It was my my weekend to clean, so I cleaned the house. I I, I washed. I did laundry, and I cooked. My friends were like, "Aren't you going on vacation tomorrow? Why you cook so much food?" I said, "Yes, because when I come back, I am not going to cook anything. I'm gonna come back like the day before. I have to go back to work, and I'm not gonna have any time to cook anything. I want to make sure I come back. Food is in the fridge for me." And I have food to take to work the, the following day, so I'm I'm happy with decision with the decision that I made with the choice that I made to go alone, and I enjoyed myself. Like I actually enjoyed myself to the fullest. The first day when I went, when I went the first night, I checked in. I got to the hotel. I checked in. Um, I tried to order food. They brought the food, and then the person to like try to come to my room to give the food to me. But if you don't have, if you're not staying there and you don't have a key for the the for the building that you're staying in, you're not. You can't come into the building. And he, I don't know what he was doing. So that I had like a little miss up the first night because I was hungry. And then I had a little miss up with my dress, as you guys can see, my dress, the dress, the sensor. I bought the dress and they forgot to take off the sensor. So, with that being said, that was the only two, that was the only two, like, uh, miss ups I had on my trip. So, it wasn't bad at all, it wasn't bad. So, I enjoyed, and I think why I enjoyed myself, why I enjoyed this solo trip is the fact that I'm always alone. I live with my sister. Yes, I see her from time to time. She work night. I work half half day shift, half night shift basically. She works night. I work two hour shifts. I, we live in the same house. I hardly see her, so it's it's not a big like. Yes, yeah, she's here with me, but I'm always I'm just alone. I like being by myself. If I don't feel like being around anyone, I'm 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 always in my room. If I don't have to cook, you're not gonna see me downstairs. If I don't have to pee, you're not gonna see me lingering around the house. That's just how I am. So, for that being said, I think that's one of the main reasons why I actually didn't mind going by myself, and I actually found it fun to go by myself. So, like sometimes it's good to take a solo trip. Sometimes it's good to go with people. 
and every time you if you take a solo trip my my advice to you is make sure if anything you can tell the receptionist where you're going the receptionist or the manager of the hotel somebody that's uh, on staff say listen i'm going here i don't know the area like and you use your uber you communicate with somebody that you trust if you leave the hotel to go have dinner to go have breakfast text a friend and let a friend know that you're going for dinner when you get back to the hotel you communicate with that same friend if you want to go out for dinner in the night let the friend know i wouldn't suggest to no one that's going on a solo vacation to go anywhere in the night you can do anything at daytime because it's bright outside. It is bright outside. I wouldn't recommend nobody going anywhere at night. I didn't leave my hotel room at night. As soon as it got dark, I didn't leave the room. Anything I, I had to order, I made sure it came before nighttime. Because I had to walk to like the ninth building. I was staying in room 921 at the Wyndham orlando resort uh, windham orlando resort and international drive people i cannot i cannot remember what the place name i remember what the place name but i cannot remember which order to tell you in so i would suggest if you're gonna go on a solo vacation you get to get up in the morning you go for breakfast um you can go to the mall like i did i went for breakfast i went to the mall i scheduled a facial I scheduled a facial prior to going to Orlando so you check the distance of where the hotel is where the mall is where the facial where's the location for where you're gonna get your facial is you get where I'm coming from the distance for where the restaurant is where you want to eat lunch where you want to eat dinner where you want to eat breakfast so that's what I did and you make sure you leave you get up early you do what you want to do you explore from early throughout the um in the day and you make sure you get back until you get back to the hotel like at six six o'clock so that's what i would recommend and uh, i just want to say guys so just want to tell you guys that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching and uh, trust me i had fun so if you want to take a trip of course take a trip i'm single i have no kids if even if you even if you have kids even if you're married and uh, I'm glad the money from the Arrowwood Pussy, she was like, like she had, she enjoyed my second, my day two in Orlando video. And she reached out to me. She said, she said, it takes someone that is comfortable with themselves to take a solo vacation. And trust me, I am comfortable with myself. I take good care of myself. I make sure I go my guy and I go my dentist. I go get my checkup at my doctor regular. So and i work i save my money i pay my bills i live on a budget like i'm not all over the place so it was it was like i've never spent so much money on myself within three days that was like the most money i spent on myself in like three days people you don't know a seminar spend money people don't know yeah my family knows seminar spend all that but trust me i had uber download uber eats and the uber app for driver uber eats and uber and uber so you can get your cabs you can get your taxi to go to and from and plan stuff plan stuff within the area that you're staying and day to day you can explore if you're going for three days you explore when you leave from the hotel if you want to start exploring you start to explore the areas go out try new things you just you you book in first you book in if it's not time to book in you go have breakfast then you come back to the hotel you shower you get ready you relax a little in your room and you go somewhere when you make sure you get back to the hotel if you're by yourself before night even if you're not by yourself i don't think it's safe to go anywhere at night time in places that you don't know that's that's my opinion that's like if you feel different it's okay but uh, i had fun and i'm happy i took this trip the place was beautiful the only problem i had is uh, sometimes the reception area was like uh, busy <sighs> all right so guys thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day a wonderful night anytime you get to watch this video please remember to like share and subscribe bye